Hi everyone, it's Tina at Phenomenal Beauty. So I'm pretty excited today. I'm going to be doing a first impressions of some brushes. And they've been ones uh, that I've been looking at for probably a good couple of months now. And just trying to decide what to get. And when I watched Rachel Jade's review of... Yeah, I had to go get it. So I've gotten that with a couple of individual brushes. But what I wanted to do this is not only request to do more first impressions but to actually show you how it's sort of wrapped, to go over the shipping, any other details, the total value of the brush set, um, and then later on, if you request it, I'll do an actual review, but I know there's tons of them up here. Anyway, let's get to the parcel. So that's what the box looks like. I'm not going to show my, my details, but it actually comes through DHL. So I'm in Australia. They ship worldwide now, and I'll put a link below to the website, but you pay in USD, so if we're in Australia, and it costs me a flat $18 shipping to go through DHL to Australia, and then from Australia, it goes through Australian Post. They also have makeup, so it's not just brushes. They have brush rolls, accessories, and makeup as well. Now, I placed my order on the 28th, which was the Monday, 28th of July. I got the shipping notification the following day on the 29th that it was coming via DHL. And then on the 4th of August, the Monday, so pretty much that a whole week to reach Australia. It took a week to reach Australia from Germany, mind you, which was I thought was pretty good. And then it took a couple of days to go through Australia Post. So today I got it on the 6th, so, which I think was still pretty good. Anyway, I'm keen to get into this. So let's get in here. And of course, anything I do forget, I will put down below. But because I'm a big brush fan, I will put links below to other brush reviews and stuff that I've done as well, if you are new to my channel. And even a demo how to clean brushes as well, that I that I like, so. Okay, so here we go. Oh, very nicely packaged, look at that. Lovely, lovely. So I'll go through everything so you can sort of see what to expect. So we've got a little bit about Zoeva, Zoeva. Again, I apologise if I've gotten that wrong. Um, more there. Oh, I did see something about this, how people were saying that um, there's a little card here saying who actually did your order and who sort of checked it or something like that. So it's got your parcel has been compiled by Zoe and being packed by... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I won't even try. But that's cute. I've actually seen... Arpoles, Arpoles, yeah, Arpoles um, Skincare or Arpoles Apocryphy, they actually do this sort of thing as well, so who's done what, which I think is brilliant. A lot of companies could sort of do with this. They probably do it, but they don't put it in the actual thing, but I'll put a link below to that skincare range, so they do that as well, which I think is neat. And this is how it's packaged. Look at that. And then the details down so yeah it's the rose golden luxury set now i am hoping maybe they will come out with it because it, when i got it, it didn't say limited edition i'm pretty sure it didn't it just had rose golden luxury set but most of the other accessories have the black faux leather cases with the silver detail and then the brushes have the black handle or black wooden handle and then the silver you know um ferrule but these have the rose gold now, I will also say with the website, it's actually really set up really well, I think. Um, they have a lot of details about the brushes, like it's not, you know, it's it, a lot of detail about the brushes, but also the makeup as well. It even gives you the dimension size of the pans and stuff like that in the eyeshadow palettes, for example, which I think is really good. So, And the kicker, which I thought was really neat, was um, they even described the colour used on the actual brush handles. Now, you think, come on, who cares? But for people that are makeup enthusiasts or brushes, you know brush tool slash accessory enthusiasts like us and I assume most people watching this um, it actually says it's Pantone 5C which is obviously a color blocking sort of system um, and it's uh, 5C or black is the color um, 5C and I thought that was a nice little detail to put on there so there you go anyway the, this is the standard line um, as you can see the black with the silver um, so I have a 228 eyes crease brush and the 111 Flawless Face Brush. Now I'll show you this one first. I think, I can't remember what was this. And I just love how it's all packaged. Like that's great for travel thing. And that's the brush. It's all wrapped up. Now this is synthetic. And the reason I picked this one, I wanted something that I don't really have a lot of. I've got a couple of similar ones to this, you know, for foundation or um, sort of the point brush. But it actually reminded me a lot of the Becca brush. It's the Becca one's a little bit thicker, but it has that, you know, where they haven't dyed the bristles, it's got that multicolored rainbow bristles. I've always wanted that 
for the Becker one, but the Becker one is, I don't even know, is it $30, $40? This was about, I think, 11 USD. So if you're paying in USD dollars. If I get anything wrong, I'll, I'll put a you know annotation in here or down below. Oh my gosh, it's, I didn't realize that. You know how you have those sort of bench tops as well that have that sort of really sort of slightly shiny sheen with a silver sparkle through it. It's very, very, you can hardly tell, but it's really, really nice. Yeah, it's actually really nice. There it is. And that's the bristles, so. I mean, obviously... Like I said, if you want a review of anything, let me know down below. But that's what the Becker brush sort of looks like, but it's a little bit thicker, I think. But for $11 USD, and the next one is the 228 Eyes Crease Brush. I do have a lot like this. I've got like, um, I thought these might be similar to my Dellum brushes and my uh, Royal Langnickel brushes, which I will stock up again. IMATS is coming. That's why I was a little bit more constrained or contained this time around. But um, I wanted to compare it. That's why I wanted to compare the sort of quality. So that's one. Oh, they're super soft. That is super, super soft. Now, is that? That feels like, is it natural? Anything, I'll put any details here about the brushes, but I, like I said, this is just an unboxing. And I'm sort of, I'm thinking $7.50. It was actually quite a good price for the actual quality I was thinking of the brush, what it looked like. And yes, I'm not disappointed because it's got a nice sort of taper there and very soft. So that'd be great for sort of buffing around the eye as well. So I thought that was quite nice. So that's that one. And now it's the main, <laughs> the main attraction. Da -da -da. So it's all wrapped up in here. Now, so you get you get the case and you get eight brushes. Now, what I thought was good before I open this up, I th when you look on the website, they have the large and the small cases of these, and the you know the black with the silver detail, and they are 18 USD just for the case alone. And then I went through every single brush, the eight brushes in here. I went through and added up because this cost a total of 68 USD. So bear that in mind, 68 USD. When I went through and added up all the, um, you know, the silver detail brushes, uh, it came to a total of 76 USD just for the eight brushes. And then on top with the case, it would cost a total of $96 if you were buying them individually. But again, they're not in the rose gold finish. That would be in the black and the silver. But So I thought that was really good. And they actually have... Have a good look at this, because some people don't really mention it. This you can actually use as a clutch as well. They say that you can use it as either you know, storing your brushes, your makeup accessories, or as a evening clutch, or you know, obviously going out during the day. And I thought this would be a little bit more blingy, a little bit more glamorous to go out with, don't you think, with the rose, the rose gold. So that's it there, of course, faux leather. And let me just take out the brushes. So that's how it is, you get the little card. Oh, and it actually says Denise must have packed this one. So it looks like you can pretty much track everything through there. And it's a big deal for me. My previous job, I mean, was um, quality assurance. I worked in a quality assurance lab, completely different. Not, not makeup, I wish, or brushes. But, you know, you could sort of track everything. It was a good quality control. So I like that. And everything's in there. So there are the brushes, and they look phenomenal. And now I want to see, this is the detail. Before I get to the brushes... Just that as a clutch, so that is quite nice. So let's have a look. And can you see this? Color Love Makeup. So really nice. I like the deck, like it doesn't feel cheap, like it does have a, it's actually quite sturdy, I think, which I, I like. So like I said, if you're buying the black one, it would be 18 USD. So that's a fair size. I'm pretty sure that is the, the, the larger, is it the small? Even if it was the small one, it would be 16 USD, I think. So anyway. You want to see the brushes? Come on, that's what we came here for. Brushes galore. Well, I, oh, I can't forget this thing, which I keep seeing people going, what's this for? Because it's an odd shape. Is it? Hold on. Hold on. Just wait. <laughs> Is it? I sh like, we assume it would be for this. Yeah, it does fit it. So I suppose you could keep the clutch in this, or the brushes, or... I'm thinking because it feels very slippery, you could actually put your brushes on top of it, you know, when you're doing your makeup, have your brushes out. It feels like you could wipe it down. Like it doesn't, I looked on the website, I couldn't see anything about this. And I'm not sure if you do buy the clutch, maybe you get this with it. But I'm thinking this is something that you put your brushes on, maybe. You could put them on there when you're traveling or put them in the bag. Um, maybe when they're dirty, because it looks like it's wash it or wipe down, you could wipe it down. So maybe that's what it's for as well, brushes or to store that in. Uh, or anything you want it for, so doesn't really matter. You can go. Hee. Anyway, 
this is the good stuff. I'm sorry if I, if I seem rambling, but I, I think that some people out there would appreciate the detail about sort of, you know, all these bits and pieces, because it's a big thing. When, you, when you're purchasing from um, somewhere like Germany to Australia, I kind of want to know some details. And, um, okay, just to compare it, this is like a very deep brown. So it's the chocolate brown um, sort of matte finish. Uh, and then you've got the, obviously, the rose gold ferrule, or copper, what you want to call it. I just want to compare it. So it's, oh gosh, it's so glossy. It looks like a, a, a bench top. That beautiful glossy black with a little silvery blue finish to it. It is really pretty. I haven't got anything quite like that. And then you've got this as you can, I hope, I don't know if you can, you tell? This is matte. This is a matte finish, the dark chocolate brown. I'm saying this for people out there that are big makeup brush enthusiasts like myself. So anyway, to these ones. This is a 317 wing liner brush. And look how fine that is. Really, really pretty. I thought it was good. The reason I also got this set as well, I went through it and there were about five of the brushes that I wanted to get anyway in the um, face line. So I thought I'm just going to go ahead and get the whole set. It worked out better value. This is one that I wanted to get separately. It's the 102 Silk Finish. This is synthetic. It's got a beautiful sort of round edge. Oh, but this feels really nice. And I like, I just like the way that the fair it is. It's got that rounded edge. Really, really pretty. But that matte chocolate. Oh, very nice. It complements the um, rose gold very nicely. So hopefully these will stand the test of time because my Royal Land Nicole and my Dallin brushes which I said I think are quite similar or look quite similar they've lasted really well and they're great price point so when you break them down they're a good price point so really pretty one that's that one I'm just going to grab them randomly the next one is the 106 powder brush I think that's synthetic as well and I like as well how it's all nicely wrapped and I will actually keep these sleeves anyway that's the 106 powder brush beautiful 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 so hopefully, yep. So I'm going to deep cleanse all of these this afternoon. Um, and like I said, I'll put a link down below to that one about how I deep cleanse my brushes. Wash. But this is the 127 Lux Sheer Cheek. Yeah, so that one. I have similar sort of angled ones like this. But I just thought it had just a really nice sort of like that. You know, some of the ones I've got have that. You know what I mean. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so what did I say? Um, I don't know, I like that little detail, like it's got everything on there. It's got the 127, not just the number, it gives the whole description. Lux Sheer Cheek, it's got their name on there, and it's got Color Love Makeup. So for all of you out there that love all those little details, look at that. And it looks like it's, is it the word engraved? You know, where the word is indented, and then it's got the color in there. So hopefully this should last a little bit longer than the ones that are just, you know, painted straight on. Anyway, I know people suggest me to use clear nail polish. I have tried it on some of my brushes. I don't really like doing that. Um, this one I really, really wanted. The 110 Face Shape Brush. I've got nothing quite like this. But I, I just love that round little bit there. I don't know why. But look how cute it is. It's a whole sort of statement. So I'm thinking, if you want something, like the Marc Jacob brushes that I have, that I've only got the two face ones, the 12 and the, I can't remember, was the number two, I think it is. They are beautiful looking brushes, but I think these are quite, not, they don't look anything really like them, but they are as beautiful, I think, but a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. Look at that. And I think, yeah, that is synthetic. So I do, I will enjoy trying all these. And this is, look at this little one. This is the 142 Concealer Buffer. How cute is this? I like that quite that nice dome. I've got one similar, but they're a little bit flatter or they're a little bit more pointed. This one feels really, really good. Anyways. This is the 227 Lux Soft Definer. And I, I do have a ton of brushes like this. I won't lie. But I thought it was a good one to get in the set. Most of the other ones are the ones that I wanted to get. And I thought getting them separately with the silver detail, yeah, I want the rose gold and I want to save some money. 231. This is the Lux Petite Crease. Now, the reason I wanted this one, I mean, I do have similar ones in my other brands that I love, but I wanted to compare it to my Ray Morris ones that I absolutely adore. They're just, there is nothing quite tapered. I'll put the brushes that I'm comparing them to. There's nothing quite like those ones as far as the taper they're expensive but they look good i love the magnetic end 
um, but I wanted something a little bit sort of, <laughs> you know what I mean. But um, I thought this could go nicely in the kit as well, or on me. So, yeah, it's the 231, but that does have a very nice, a nice edge for, you know, putting it in your sort of crease and even sort of blending it's nice and soft, but nice detail you can get under there, smudge under there, you know, a little bit of a highlight, beautiful. So, I think that is it. Did I make it? Did I do it? Did I do them? I did, and I probably spent how long? Long time yapping about that, but that's pretty much it. So that's my unboxing or my first impressions. Um, please thumbs up if you do like this, and if you don't mind me sort of, you know, rabbiting on, I compare stuff and talking about it, and you know, going on all the details. Do you like me, you know, showing you all the details and stuff like that, and what I think about the website, all that sort of stuff? Because I know there's tons of reviews online that you can see on these brushes, or maybe other unboxings and that. But do you like this? If you do, thumbs up, so I know to keep sort of doing these ones as well. If you do want me to do a review, because what I will do is, I know I do long-winded reviews, but I will compare this quality to my Dallin brushes, because they're, they're all sort of th synthetic, or and I'll compare them to my Royal Lang Langnickel that have you know a mix of synthetic and natural um, bristle fibers. This set, I think, has five um, synthetic and three natural bristles, I believe. I could be wrong. Like I said, I'll put anything up the top and also the details down below. Um, but yeah. So, thank you very much for watching and during my chitter chatter. And um, yes, I look forward to getting these all these beauties all clean tonight. Take care.